Welcome to Be Well here in the Try Best Kitchen. I'm Chef Jenny Ross and I'm here to show you a pumpkin spice smoothie that you can use all season long to enjoy with your family and friends. It's a simple recipe using Omega Walnut Milk. So we're gonna get started with that first. First we'll add 16 to 24 ounces of water to the soy bella. This is a great piece of equipment to make raw nut milks. I love it because I can do a lot of different milks for my family, walnut, uh, hemp seed, pecan, almond, different things than you'd find in the supermarket. And my family loves it because the flavor is so much more enjoyable when it's fresh. So I've soaked these walnuts for about four hours before using them. And I'm gonna go ahead and just connect it right into the soy bella, put on the bottom, twist and press mill to make our raw milks. Get it right down there on the top and press mill. Once the mill cycle is finished, you just go ahead, lift and pour out your nut milk. Look how beautiful that milk is. This will last up to seven days in the refrigerator, just depending on the type of nut you've used and how long it's been soaked. This is gonna be a great base for our pumpkin spice smoothie. So once we have all the basics ready to go, we'll go ahead and set up our blender. I'm using the DynaBlend blender today and I'm gonna fill it with some great ingredients that will really kickstart your health even during the holiday and winter season. We'll throw in one whole banana, get it right there into the blender, and then of course some pumpkin. This is a nice seasonal option. You could also use butternut squash. Pumpkin is very high in potassium, really good for building strong bones and really boosts the immune system even during the cold months. So we just have a half a cup to three quarters cup of pumpkin right into the blender. Now come all the fun things, the spices. So today I have some vanilla paste that's just been dried. I'm gonna put one half a teaspoon of that in. So that's straight vanilla. That's gonna give lots of great flavor to our recipe. And then of course some pumpkin pie seasoning. So this is cinnamon, nutmeg, cardamom, and clove. And I wanna use a whole teaspoon of that. Get it right there into the blender. Now once you make your first blend, you might wanna add more or take some out for your next blend. But I recommend starting with that amount of spices. And then of course, if you'd like your smoothie a little bit sweeter, you could add in something like coconut sugar. This is a fun one because it's a nice rich flavor. It really offsets the pumpkin and the banana in this. So I'm gonna put a tablespoon of coconut sugar in there because I'm gonna use this as a dessert this afternoon with my family. Then we'll put the top on and get it ready to blend. Then we'll add some walnut milk. So this is an Omega walnut milk, very good for the brain. One cup is all you need for a standard smoothie portion. If you're doubling or tripling, you'll just keep adding milk so that your smoothie is nice and moist and of course the consistency you enjoy. So we'll go ahead, put it right on top of the DynaBlend and just turn it on. Once I get the basic blend done, I'll just pull out the top and add in the stainless steel scoop so I can get under the blades and make sure that all my pieces of pumpkin are ready to go. Another 20 seconds on high and we should be ready. Once your smoothie is really well combined and nicely blended, you'll see this beautiful orange color develop. This is exactly what we're looking for. This smoothie especially is really a treat for the eyes. So one of the things that I love to share with family and friends, especially for desserts during the holiday season, is this great smoothie. We'll pour it right into the shake glass and fill it right up to the top. Now if you're someone who likes really frothy smoothies, go ahead and add a half a cup of ice to yours or go ahead and freeze some bananas that are getting too ripe and you can use those in the smoothie as well. That way it'll be a little bit cooler. And then we'll sprinkle some of that cinnamon and pumpkin pie spice right on the top and serve it up. Once you get that smoothie into the cup, go ahead and drink up to your health. Enjoy this one with your family and friends this season and see how much they also enjoy all those beautiful tastes of the pumpkin, cinnamon, and walnut milk combined. To your health.